Hello, my Facebook family. I just wanted to bring you a quick word of encouragement. Um, the title might not seem encouraging, but it absolutely is. This was dropping into my spirit this morning, and I wanted to make sure to jot down some notes and bring you the top, well, probably the top three reasons why things aren't happening for you. So if you're looking for the love of your life, you're looking for a, a connection, you've been waiting for a long time, um, these might be some of the reasons that it's not happening yet. Um, besides just employing patience, and sometimes you just have to be patient because everything you want is connected to someone else, and that person also has to come in, in alignment with um, the plans and purposes of God. So um, if you're not um, employing patience as an employee, <laughs> employ patience. Um, but you can tell if you are in one of these three places by if you're having anxiety over it, if you are um, having a panic attacks, if you, um, if you are, um, um, very anxious about it, um, which is anxiety, I guess, um, you'll know, you'll know. Um, and so I want to make sure to, um, expose what's happening or might be happening in your life in order for you to conquer um, and be able to receive the fullness of what you're believing for. The first thing is atmosphere um, and eating differently. So one of the things that you have to start going through is your Facebook feed. Look through what people are posting. That is part of your atmosphere and you need to make sure that your atmosphere is conducive to what you want. If it's if it's not praiseworthy, if it's not a good thing, if it's not going to ignite faith in you, if it's not going to cheerlead you on, if it doesn't make you want to really want that thing that you want, then you don't have to get rid of your Facebook friends. Just mute them. You can mute them for 30 days. So I challenge you that people who are in your feed who are just really not posting continually things that are good for you. You know, you need to eat well. You need to set your atmosphere well. And part of the eating is that soul food, right? You will prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. And if your soul is eating junk food, um, then guess what's going to happen? I mean, it's not like when I eat physical junk food because, you know, I have high metabolism and that doesn't save my system. <laughs> <laughs> not like me. So, um, it, that's not the same, but <laughs> I say my five, I know people get mad. How can you eat all that food and, and still look the way you look because I know how to purge. So you need to purge for a little bit, your atmosphere. You need to set your atmosphere in your Facebook feed and in anything else that you're listening to your news, Maybe you just need to mute the news for 30 days. You really need to set your atmosphere so that way you, it is conducive to what you want, which means that if you have a really good friend and all she does is bash men and you're trying to get a man, then you need to maybe not speak to her as often or don't talk to her about men. <laughs> if you have friends who are not ambitious, I mean, they're just really happy with the status quo and going to work and and you know just kind of living life but it's very humdrum and you are have that fire in you you're gonna have to set some boundaries and it doesn't mean that you release them it just means that there are boundaries there hi Craig hi Elisha hi Anna um let me do my waves here <laughs> thanks for coming on live so eat differently set your atmosphere set your physical atmosphere and especially what you put through your eye gate because your subconscious retains 80% of what you put through your eye gate. So if your Facebook feed is garbage and it's not really going to ignite good thoughts in you, then you need to mute some people. I'm not telling you to delete them. I'm just telling you to mute them for 30 days. The other thing is um, the reason you want to do that is that so you don't choke. Everybody has a choke point. Everybody. And this is the reason why you need to make sure that your atmosphere is set up for your success. So that way, when you get the pressure, pressure and pressure will come, the cares of this world will come to try to get you to abort, which you have your eyes on, to take your eyes off it, to start doubting, to start start looking at the waves of the water, to start looking at the storm instead of commanding the storm to be still. You're going to not have the strength 
because your faith is small. Your faith is small in that moment. It's not always small, you know, because you know how you can rise up and you'll hear a word and you're like, yeah, and you'll mentally ascend and even your spirit will be jumping with joy. But then the cares of this world will come and try to rob that seed from you. It is not coming really after you. It's coming after your influence. It's coming after your big mouth because after you get what you want, you're going to give God all the glory and you're going to tell everybody. So that's what it's after. And so don't allow it to steal it from you. Don't allow the cares of this world to choke it out. You can acknowledge it saying, I see you, but I don't give you the right to live in my life. I don't give you the right to stay in my atmosphere. I don't give you the right. You are a spiritual being. You're made in the image and likeness of God. Start acting like it because the whole world is waiting for the sons of God to rise up and take their place. Start acting like your father in heaven and command that mountain to move. God did not say he would take the mountain from you. He told you to do it. And whatever he tells you to do, he gives you the power to do it. But you need to know who you are and you need to do those things. Move your atmosphere, change it. Change what you're feeding yourself through your eyes. Don't allow things to choke you. And the last thing is stop being resentful (laughs) against the thing that you say that you want. So I read a lot of things and I hear things of, you know, I'm talking to you women that you are upset. You get resentful because you've been waiting for your man. You don't have no man yet. And then you're resentful that everybody else has a man and, you know, you can't. He's not either coming or they come and they go quickly. This is going to be a pop out. But you are repelling what you want when you resent the timeline. When you resent how long it's taking. When you resent that somebody else skipped a line and now they got what you wanted. So you are repelling what you want with your stinky attitude, period. You need to be joyous over someone else getting what something that you wanted because the Jews have a really good saying, when someone else breaks through in the area that you wanted, rejoice because that means you're next. And maybe that's why you're getting bypassed because you're resentful and you're bitter. So stop being so resentful and stop being so bitter against the timing. If you're there, then you need to go really sow some seed in that space, which means that whatever it is you want, help somebody else get that. Serve someone else in that. Pray for them, be their friend. You know, if it's a business thing, help help their business. Whatever it is you want, there is opportunity for you to serve And as you serve, you ignite joy, and joy is attractive to everything. Joy is the highest vibration because you're ecstatic, you're happy, and includes love. Love is a great motivator. Love conquers all things. But joy, joy is not like happiness. Joy is a fruit of the spirit. Happiness is fleeting. It is in your feelings. But joy is a spiritual fruit. And you need to cultivate that fruit so that you can magnetize everything that belongs to you by divine right. So if you've been talking against men, talking against other women, talking against other people because they have what you wanted, which is being covetedness, there's plenty for everybody. If you want it, it's because God wants to give it to you. So if you've been resentful and bitter and talking against other people, like they don't deserve it, that's pride too. That's ego. And maybe that's why you haven't gotten what you wanted. Because you're in your ego. And nobody wants to work with somebody who's in their ego. Nobody wants to give somebody an opportunity when they're in their ego. Nobody wants to give somebody favor when they're in their ego. Nobody wants to go out with somebody who's in their ego. It's not attractive. Get it? It's not 
attractive. It's not magnetizing. So if you're in this space, just repent. Repent means to stop, turn around, and change your thinking. Start to see the good and rejoice with those that are rejoicing. There's a reason why we're told that in the best selling book in the world. Rejoice with those who are rejoicing. That's really exposing your character. And perhaps you're not getting the opportunities that you want, not because you're not talented, not because on paper you have the skills, but maybe it's a character issue. And maybe it's being withheld from you until you get your character right. Because if you get what you want when your character is not ready for it, you can destroy the thing you have asked for. It is grace that perhaps is stopping you because character-wise, you're not ready. But you can get ready. You can turn around. You can change your thinking. If you're a businesswoman or a woman in leadership, we go through this in the Detox Spa group. It is a secret group. Uh, so you need to ask to be in it. And if you want in, just say, I want in below. There have been women who have been breaking through from the very first day that they engage and they continue to get aha moments. They continue to get impartations. We have a breaker and a favor anointing there. So if you are a woman who needs to break through, we have a love story going on in there that's being shared that is amazing. There are things being breaking through like um, divine connections for businesses it's all God and we get to go in there and we get to share our stories. And every Friday, Anna and I do a live there where we give you some practical things that you can do to change the course of your life. It's 100% free, but you do need to take action and you, need, you do need to ask to come into that group. Trust me, every woman who engages Everyone who's in there and watching the lives, liking them, commenting them, they are all receiving. And if you need that, then you need in. It's free. What's it, it's not going to cost you anything but a little bit of focus. <laughs> a little bit of time. Some repenting. You're going to have to turn around and change your thinking. As a man thinks, so is he. Where the mind goes... Where the mind goes, a man will follow. And we have um, a whole bunch of free resources for you. So come and get it. <laughs> come and get it. Come get blessed. Come find out why women continue to stay in this group. Why women are continual, continually every day coming and asking to be part of this group. Because we know how to break through. We know how to tap into the favor of God. So I hope that this message was very helpful for you. And it's, I'm not here to chastise you, but I am here to expose things because they need to be exposed in order for you to get what you want. So if you were offended, ask why. If you didn't like the delivery, ask yourself why. Come and change your thinking with us, women. Sorry, um, it's called Detox Spa, safe place of activation. So no guys allowed. That way we have the women um, there and they can just, um, you know, be themselves. Women need a safe space in order for them to not be judged and be able to talk about um, uh, things that women need to talk about freely. And it is a, um, you know, it's like Vegas, right? What goes on in there stays in there. <laughs> so if you're looking for a safe place to be yourself, ladies, we have your space. Come and join us. All right. You have a great day. Bye now. <laughs>